Me and my kids from school, whomping all morning. I was making me so nervous too, because I was I was fishing here early morning and they came flying up behind me and they're like, can we spray you, sir? Can we spray you? They're good kids. They're good kids with 15s with uh, six horsepower stickers. They go out offshore in those tiny little tinnies, they're mad. But anyway, I want to talk to you about some of the best hard body lures. This is the time of year you want to be getting your jack lures out. And if you're wanting to ramp up some of your catches this year, then I've got a great video for you today. I'm going to take you through my favourite hard bodies, how to upgrade them, what to look for if you're going to buy a few, and also some tips on the retrieves. But before we get into it, I'm going to show you some of the action captured in my first Kayaker's Guide series DVD, The Kayaker's Guide to the Gold Coast, showing you some of the action you can get onto if you're throwing some of these good hard bodies around. And then I'll take you through some of the pitfalls that I see blokes using and uh, some of the mistakes that are made early on getting into jack fishing that just slows their catch rates down. Take a look at some of this action. belted me. It's a bass, eh? Up the back of these systems where you get to brackish water, flicking around some of this heavier cover, you're a chance for a bass. So the variety of fish in these systems is just immense and it makes for such great sport fishing fun because you don't know what you're going to hook. Let me show you this fella. I'll get him up there and give you a look at him. Beautiful. He's probably close to 40. I'd say just maybe under 40. But uh, he belted that lure as good as any sports fish would, and they're, um, they always give a good account of themselves, these things. I'll just uh, get him back in. I don't like to hang him for too long from the lure. But um, Australian bass, you can find them up the back, especially coming into summer. Um, Talabudra Creek and Kurumban Creek, the back of the the back of the Coomera at times. Narang's great for them. You can head right up into the back of the Narang. And of course right through out um, Rabina Lakes, but I love chasing them in in natural systems. Wild bass on lures. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning and they're still firing. Even these great big flathead are a welcome bycatch up the back of these systems in the natural structure. This one was taken off a log. He was actually sitting in the shadow underneath it and um, he's well over the 600. Some great fish up here. So important to release these bigger ones. Here you go, big girl. It's a good fish! Oh my god, look at it! Oh, get back here, big fella. He just scared like a foot long uh, mullet. Oh, geez, I hope you're red. I don't think it is, though. The way it's moving, I think it's a, a big trev. Be red, be red, be red. Oh no, I can see a huge silver side. God, they felt ya. Look at the size of this thing. And there was a big foot long mullet that got scared too as he came up and belted my lure. It almost looked like a surface hit, but it was another bit of bait trying to get out the road. You can see all the muck that I'm fishing in, and it's a great tip if you're, if you're fishing the run-in tide, is to sort of follow the dirty stuff. It's a beautiful, big, big trev. He's up at the 600 for sure. Look at the size of this brute, would ya? It's worth using the lures that really get the job done, and that's why I've stuck with this thing. 
Trevally in these creeks is so much fun. what it is too. It's a big one. <laughs> Take it on the stall. Oh, there's that red colour that you want for all season. Oh, he's a big one. Oh, you beauty. They go so hard, these things. I feel like I just about need a bloody seatbelt to keep me on because the way they rip is just insane. Oh. He is a corker. He's only lightly pinned, so if he drops, I'll be shattered. But this is what it's all about. Come up the back of these creeks, Corumban, Talabudger and Meringue. Oh, and there's these beastie jacks just waiting to grab these lures. This is taken on a, on a diving lure, one of my favourites at the Emco Samari. you got to have a look at this thing. Now, Out of the side of this fruit. Oh, hang on, mate. Look at that beast, would ya? So that great jack was taken fishing with one of these, a Tiemco Sumari 90 Deep. And uh, they're made by Tiemco. They're in some of the best tackle stores around. The Tackle Warehouse has got them. Um, Joneses in Brisbane have them. I think Tackle World Launton. Um, it's really those better tackle stores that stock high quality lures that stock this stuff. But that's the one that I was using there. And uh, that's the colour and the hook upgrade you can see there I've got a heavier BKK treble at the front and that's now rusting at the back which shouldn't be used but a rusting 2x um, owner at the back so if you're looking for the trebles that you want this is them BKK wrap disease they're slightly heavier but they're super sharp and the size 4 they come in a 6 as well and the 6 2x owners I fish with them on most or nearly all of my jack lures and they're fantastic. I use 20 pound line, right? And this dictates how heavy the trebles are that you want to run. If you're running with 40 pound leader and 40 pound braid right through and heaps and heaps of drag, you might bend those hooks out. But for me at 20 pound, those two X owners, they're the way to go. Um, the, the single X, like the, the blue pack owners, I reckon they're a little bit light on for jack, so I don't really go with them. And if I see them, they come standard on a lot of jack lures, I'll take them off and replace them. 